What the picture showed was a ring-like emission. And it is important to understand that this ring is made up of two pieces. It's made up of astrophysical processes where gas is falling with almost the speed of light into the black hole. And it is made up of gravity signatures. And that's what the sharp ring feature is about. The Event Horizon Telescope is really two halves, two pieces. It's as much algorithm as it is steel. We can't change the steel on the ground, but we can change the algorithm that's in the eyepiece. And in doing so, enhance the capability of the Event Horizon Telescope to pull out this extra piece that we didn't before. What we've done here is we have put into our algorithms um, the fact that we have a strong expectation from theory that this ring that we saw in 2019 should really be much, much sharper. By virtue of knowing what we are potentially looking for, uh, we can turn off the bits that are getting in the way. This is very much like using your polarized sunglasses to remove glare. And so that allowed the algorithm to hone in into the same data set with a bit more accuracy and dig up this pristine signature of gravity, this very, very sharp ring. The photon ring is composed of those bits of light that detour around the back of the black hole before coming to us, that make a full orbit before reaching Earth, and as such are telling us in some sense about what's behind the black hole, not merely what's around it. So there are some photons in the image that we took that come reasonably close to the black hole, but some photons get really, really close, and they make a half turn or even more around the black hole before they come to us. And it's those last photons that really just graze the surface of the black hole uh, that come to us only from a very, very finite region in the image. And they create this very sharp image. What we've done now is resolve that fire donut, that fluffy ring, into a sharp feature and an extended structure. And then that's what we see that, that ring morph into, that sharp ring, that betrays uh, the presence of strong gravity caused by those photons that have whipped around the back. There's something fundamentally profound about seeing those extremely lensed photons, those photons bent right around the back of the black hole. So that allowed us to do a number of things. It allowed us to make the most precise uh, mass estimate of the black hole. It allows us to see a faint, but nevertheless very significant jet component. And that jet component is showing up uh, extremely close to the black hole. As that jet is born, it's born rotating, dragged around, spun by the black hole, stealing the energy from the rotation of the black hole and carrying that away. And as it expands outward, just like the figure skater, it slows down. Until now, we had been seeing the figure skater with her arms outstretched. We've been seeing the jet not rotate. But here we see that rotation at the very bottom. And now, because we can separate out what is the ring and what is the diffuse emission around the black hole, we are able to see the spring from which this jet originates. So we're now really establishing a connection between the jet we saw at lower resolution observations. We, we established that to all the way down to the event horizon and to the shadow. This, this is a, an example of Canadian science uh, participating and in this instance, helping to lead the way on cutting edge new ways to study the universe in this extraordinary once in a lifetime kind of project. As a theorist, uh, you know, my happiest moments are, are when some new piece of a theoretical idea actually manifests in the physical world. And here we are seeing a manifestation of something that I've been looking at for two decades on computer screens. And that's just an extraordinary moment. And it can look deeper into the shadow, so to speak. And what it finds is very interesting. It's quite extraordinary.